Hello and welcome, everyone! Yeah, unfortunately, no one guessed it right what this giant uh, golden meatball is for. But because you saw the title of this video, I think now you have a slight idea what it is for. But I'll show you at the end of the video what I used it for. And don't you dare try to skip to the end. Uh, this video is very helpful. You need to watch everything. So, but, let's take a little look at the best guesses which I've seen. Well, there were quite a few. So, the first guess came from Akatsuki Link. And he said, uh, maybe it's uh, the Winged Dragon of Ra, Sphere Mode. And uh, I need to be honest, I had to Google that. But here it is. And yeah, it's a giant golden ball, so uh, he wasn't too far off. And he also guessed a few other things. I see a lot of things you can do with that sphere. Hmm, a sun? A sun dripping lava? Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man? Giant Quidditch golden snitch? Yeah, maybe. But no, you are going to make Koro-sensei from Anatsu Kyushitsu. Uh, wait. Ah, he means that guy from Assassination Classroom. It's uh, kind of looks like the head. Arcane also guessed a 3D Pac-Man or something. And uh, this one I also like from Matsui1. Are you going to cut out a winding path and fill it with water so you have the most complex water slide in gaming? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, no. But yeah, you'll see it at the end. So, and to show you what I mean with removing blocks with blueprints, we'll place down a few blocks. And we'll make a blueprint out of it. Yeah, we have a little cube. And now, if we lay it down somewhere, because uh, the villagers don't have access to those yellow blocks, they'll destroy something. So, let's build a little example room. A uh, very little example room. And you always need to make sure to put a chest right next to it, so the villagers can get rid of all the blocks they destroyed. So now we lay it down on top of what we built. What do you mean I can't place that there? Huh? Yeah, that's a little problem. You always need to make sure to destroy two blocks of where you're going to place it down. So like over here. And now you can place it. Very important. And now let's see what happens. Oh, and there's someone coming. And as you can see, they just destroy the blocks and put them neatly into the chest. Very, very practical. And we're going to exploit this mechanic with a giant block. Yeah, you need some yellow blocks. Sorry, you don't have it. <laughs> uh, we built a giant uh, cube, a giant sphere, and a little tunnel over there. Let's go. Oh, and of course you can remove it once you're done. Just go into the blueprint and remove blueprint. Like this. And it's gone. Yay! No yellow blocks for you. And here are all the parts. Yeah, this also works much better than the golem, because the golem will always go over the item limit, and then the items are gone. So if you have built a house which you want to get rid of, and you will destroy it with the golem, some items may disappear, and they are lost forever. This way, you will always have all the items. Yes. Yeah, and also don't mind me talking about that giant thing over there, uh, how to build it. Uh, I come from the future. Yeah. <laughs> but now I'll explain everything you need to know about how to remove blocks with blueprints. For this it's important that you use a block type which uh, the villagers have no access to. That's also the reason why I choose golden blocks for the sphere. And for this purpose the color wheel workstation works best. Just choose a block type you want to use. I mean, it doesn't matter in the end, but just choose a nice looking color. Now let's take pink. Uh, about 5,000 should be enough. Yeah, and as you can see, I kind of like pink. <laughs> uh, well, not really, but I needed to get rid of all my strawberries. So now let's go all the way into a corner of my map. Uh, like over here. So we have some space to work with. And now we lay down some blocks. I'm going to make a giant cube. Yes, we have a sphere and a cube. So we'll make it 30 by 30 by 30 for now. And then we'll see if the blueprint can fit all of this inside. Because as you can see here, I tried to make a full blueprint out of the sphere, but uh, it cut off at one point. So I think because uh, 20,000 blocks is kind of the limit. So wait, uh, let's, let's uh, do some math. Uh, the third route 
of 20,000. So it's between 27 and 28. So we'll only make it 27 by 27 by 27. Yeah, I'll fast forward until the block is completely done. Ugh, always work, 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 work. Hmm. Maybe I should have built somewhere close to my villagers. So they can work for me again. Uh, we'll see. I always have to do everything myself. Uh, and while the villagers are still working on the giant cube, uh, we can also make something else. Uh, let's make a little cave entrance or something. And it's important that you always think in a negative way. Well, not in a way that you might think, but uh, like a negative space. So if we want to make a cave, we want it to be kind of roundish. So we'll make it like uh, this first. Yeah, and at the sides, we'll make it a bit more round. Hey, it's finished! So, let's copy it. And because it's 16 blocks high and we still need 11 blocks, we'll make it a bit uh, lower. So we have 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. And confirm. And we just lay it down. Ah, stupid villagers, get down. Come on, come on. And normally I don't throw off old people from a cliff. <laughs> normally. And now we can also go ahead and make some uh, stalactites and stalagmites, something like that. And also somewhere in the center. And maybe also connect them somehow. So it looks something like this. Yeah, let's take a look at what it will look like. So as a little test, let's put it somewhere over here. And uh, yeah, this could be an issue because villagers don't like to remove earth blocks. But let's see how we can fix that. Yeah, you always need to destroy some blocks. Yeah, and there they come running. And you still need to make sure that you place down a chest so they can get rid of the blocks they destroyed. Yeah, and as you can see, now they'll dig a tunnel for us. And uh, wait, let's see if the hammer hood also destroys earth blocks. Ah, uh, Hanky. Come on, Hanky. Show us what you got. Yeah, and now we let them work on this cave and we'll take a look at the giant cube. Ah, uh, looking good. And a little tip, when you want to go to sleep, wait for your villagers to put the blocks into the chest. Otherwise, uh, they'll end up somewhere. All right, let's see. Yeah, like over here, or over here, or over here. Uh -huh. So let's see what the cave is doing. Uh, they won't destroy the earth blocks. Uh, maybe Hanky will help, we'll see. Otherwise, you have to make sure to convert the blocks into destroyable blocks. Like, uh, for example, Oh! Oh, Hanky! Can you help us? Oh, Hanky does something. Let's see. Hanky! Oh, Hanky! Yeah, but as you can see, now they can destroy those blocks. Uh, but we'll need to wait for Hanky. Hopefully, he can destroy those earth blocks. Hey, keep, hey, keep. Yeah, and uh, the church is starting to look kind of good. Oh, Hanky. Hanky, Hanky. But you're pretty slow. Wait, I need to test something. Armory. Residents will equip weapons placed in the chest. Let's try that. Uh, where can we build hammers again? Uh, ah, we have the item store. So let's get four sledgehammers, four war hammers. Yay! A new room! Uh, I don't know if it will. Oh, did you just put some blocks in here? Wait, where are you? Stop putting blocks in there! What the heck? Stop it! What the frickin' frick? In you go. Oh, 
Oh no, you're here. Oh, he's too slow. <laughs> and now he's done. Okay. And it seems like they don't destroy earth blocks. Nah. Not even Hanky. <laughs> I'm so disappointed, Hanky. So, we do it ourselves. I still have no idea why villagers don't destroy earth blocks. If you know a way around it, please tell me in the comments. And uh, yeah, this would be a total game changer if we could also destroy some earth blocks. Grrr. Yeah, Hanky. Grrr. You need to destroy those. Hanky. But what I'll do now, I'll just place down those blocks instead. And they'll also get rid of those. So basically, I just exchanged all the earth blocks with other blocks. <sighs> I hate it. Oh, hey! And the giant cube is done. Very, very good. So let's remove the old one, the little cube. And let's replace it with the big one. Let's see if we get all the blocks inside this blueprint. Yeah, looks like a cube. Perfect. The whole cube is in there. So now we got an erase all block. It's perfect. So if you want to get rid of mountains as an example, you can use this. Uh, but uh, let me show you. And now we'll go over to another island where I still have some mountains. Ah, the terraforming island. And we need to get rid of monsters which are pretty slow to destroy blocks. Uh, for example, the golem. And as we saw, Hanky. So let's get especially some miners. They are pretty fast. Those should be enough. Hello, hello. This is a cave. And uh, this is a mountain destroyer. So wait, which mountain do we get? Let's destroy this corner over there. Yeah, like this. And the remaining blocks we can destroy by hand. So let's lay it down, let's give them a chest, and now we'll just watch. So, and once they're done with removing all the blocks, as you can see, they did quite a good job. You can just go ahead, remove the blueprint, and place it down over here. Of course, it doesn't work, so we'll need one block below it and two blocks free above it. Like this. And now they'll remove the rest as well. And of course, you can also make multiple blueprints out of this huge block. So you could also replace this, this, and this with this one. So then you can place down multiple blueprints, but you need to make sure that they are one block apart from each other. Because this line can't be in another blueprint. And unfortunately you can't place down multiple blueprints of the same blueprint. Uh, it will tell you, no, you can only have one. And now we'll wait for the rest of the mountain. And there you go. And now we just get rid of the blueprint over here. Yeah, and this is one of the easiest way to get rid of mountains. Yeah, as you can see, the mountain is gone. Where's the mountain? And all the items are in here. Yeah, this is very useful when you want to build something on an island and you can just assign the villagers to get rid of some mountains and other structures. Or you can let them dig tunnels and other things. Oh, by the way, I need to show you what I did. And of course, you can also create a blueprint uh, which has different dimensions than this block. Uh, I think you can do 62 by 62 with a height of 5. Then you can get rid of trees, plants and everything which is on the floor. Yeah, and this is what the cave will look like in the end. Thank you very much. You're too kind. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's not the prettiest cave in the world, but it gets the job done. I mean if you take your time and make something pretty out of it, you could make some uh, pretty nice cave systems out of those blocks. Or carve something else entirely out of it. Uh, the possibilities are endless. 
But now I'm going to show you what uh, this huge giant meatball is for. Yeah, I laid it down as a blueprint without giving them the golden blocks and uh, this is what came out of it. So you have a giant hole in the floor, which is uh, maybe a good start for a cave system. There, as you can see also the water is running down there. And yeah, yeah, this was the idea I had initially planned for the giant meatball. That's also why I made it solid. Otherwise, uh, you wouldn't have this giant crater here. But yeah, maybe you can come up with some other awesome ideas to make with those blueprints. I mean, you could also just take a mountain, copy it over, and then make a giant cave system inside the mountain. Or you could also put the cave blueprint over here and start the cave system from here. Yeah, that's also a nice idea. Then make some walkways over over the water. Hmm, we'll see. Yeah, but that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please consider liking this video. And I'll see you in the next one. So, have a good day, morning or evening. Or a very good night. <laughs> Until then, bye. giant crater. What the heck?